Hey guys, as you can tell by the uh, title of this video, this is inspired by um, Maleficent from Disney Descendants and her daughter, Mel. If you like it and uh, you want to learn to create, how to recreate this look, uh, please keep watching. Pictures will be at the end. And if you haven't subscribed, please do give me a thumbs up and I'll see you through the video. See you soon. Okay, so I'm going to start off with an eyeshadow base. This one is from Avon and it's light beige, okay? And I'm going to apply that to the lid, up to the brow and a little bit under, okay? Like that. So now I'm going to explain to you what I'm going to do with me look. I'm looking at doing purple and green like the Maleficent colours, okay? So I'm going to be using this Stargazer Professional Palette, okay, and I'm going to use this green and this purple. We're going to add some rhinestones and all that, okay. So now I'm going to start off laying some bases down. <clears throat> I've got an array of brushes, okay, and I will tell you which ones I use when time comes. But I'm going to start with applying the brighter colours actually. Sorry about that. So now I'm going to take this white eyeshadow base by W7, it's called Get Set. And it's like the next one but only cheaper. And I'm just going to apply that with my finger onto the lid and blending it all the way up because you want this colour to be vibrant, okay? Like that. Now that looks like too much, but it's not, trust me. So then I'm going to take the palette. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to take an E101 brush from Makeup Revolution, and I'm going to use this green, this very, very lime green. And uh, that's going to be your lid base, and I'm going to teach you how to build it up, okay? But if you find that you have some patches, okay, my little tip to you is get your W7, W7 white eyeshadow, and just apply a bit more, so you're layering it, and then you build up your intensity that way, okay? Now you're going to take a blending brush, so this will be an E103 brush, so blending brush from Makeup Revolution. And you're going to take the dark purple from the Professional palette, okay, or any purple that you can find. And just really knock off the excess, but you're going to start now applying that and blending that into the green around your crease and all that, okay? like that okay so there's your basic kind of color palette that i'm going with okay it's not going to be complete like this because under here i'm going to be applying some more green and purple and you know we never finish just that do we anyway <clears throat> then you're going to take a big blending brush and i'm going to take the i heart makeup fast love from makeup revolution and i'm going to take the shade here okay and that's just gonna be to help blend above the brow bone with that purple so going back to your E103 brush and your professional palette from Stargazer and on that purple tap the excess and lightly go back over where you just applied the white and you felt like it's gone a bit dull, like I'm doing. Now I'm gonna be doing liquid liner and I'm gonna do the winged liner. So just get your, any liquid that you like. I don't like to spend money on my liquid. Pardon me. And then I'm gonna take this artist brush, okay? Now for this, I need another mirror. So where's that gone? And basically, I'm going to do my normal mirror, uh, winged eyeliner. I do have a tutorial on my page, uh, my channel. Okay. 
Okay. So whilst that's setting, I'm going to now go on to the eyebrow. So I'm going to take a... Where are you? An E104 brush, which is an angled one from Makeup Revolution. And I'm going to take my Collection 2000 Brunette Eye Palette. It looks like this. And on that I'm going to take the black shade. This time I want a black brow. Okay. Like that. Okay. Then I'm going to go on to doing my mascara and I'm going to just use the 3D Fibre one. The went to and Rapal, what's that one? That's the fibre lash. This is the other one. So, I'm not very good at doing this, so bear with. Like that. Okay, so now I'm going to clean up. So now that I'm back with my face on, <clears throat> You may not see any difference, but that it's all on, okay? I'm gonna now go on with my Super Shock Eyeliner Pencil from Avon. It's a gel one. It's really good, actually. And I'm gonna put that in the eye... The waterline, sorry. Like that, okay? Now I'm gonna take... Uh, where are you? An angled brush, this one's from Avon. It's basically like an eyeliner brush. I'm gonna take one of them, okay? And I'm gonna take my white eyeshadow base because I'm gonna now apply some green to the bottom. Okay? So I'm gonna start on the inner, just that. And I'm just preferably gonna stop right here, like that. Okay? Then I'm going to take a, another angle brush, this is just a generic one. And I'm going to take that green shadow that we've got from the Stargazer palette. And I'm going to apply it on top of that white eyeshadow base. Okay. With a fluffy brush, just dust under it. Get your excess on. Right. Then I'm going to take that fluffy E103 brush that we used to do the purple and I'm actually going to take a tiny bit of purple and that's going to go on the outer bit, okay? So look up into the mirror. Like that. Then I'm going to take uh, the liquid part of that freebie fibre lash and I'm just gonna put some on the bottom lashes and stop just after the where the green finishes on the, the outer edge okay because I think that looks quite good now I'm gonna do eyelashes now I've just got these double stacks they're quite thick I lower it these lashes. These ain't gonna be standout lashes, okay? But I don't really like standout lashes. So now I'm gonna apply on top. Give me a minute, I need a mirror. I can't see that ink. And then you let them set, then when they're set, what I recommend you do is get a black mascara so you can go over your natural lashes and they merge together. Just something I recommend you should do. Because now I'm gonna do some rhinestones. I'm gonna just use some black rhinestones. I got them from Avon. They look, I don't know if you can see them. I've just dropped one out. Um, yeah. 
They look like that. Okay. And I'm just going to apply them around here. That's better. Right, so I've just, if that didn't record, I have just applied two purple rhinestones to the inner corner, black ones on the outer, and now I'm going to do lips. So take a. Did I know it? Got it on. What was that? A purple lip line. This one's from Rimmel. It's uh, 040 Purple Passion. And I'm just, just line your lips, okay? Like that. Now, it may not look even yet, but it will do. Now I'm gonna take Pro Lipstick Dark Paradise from Freedom. It's part of their Vamp collection. And as you can tell, my lips ain't even anyway, so don't give me any comments saying, oh, your lips are uneven. They're not even. Um, now I'm gonna apply a bit more contour, because I feel like you can't really see it. So I'm just gonna take the Freedom Pro Stray Palette, and I'm gonna take this color here, and I'm gonna take this purpley one here, this lavender color, and I'm gonna take a dual fiber. So that's me with the wig on. Okay. What do you think? Did you like the makeup? If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, please keep watching to the end of the uh, Please keep watching to the end of the video. What am I saying? Please keep watching till the end because there will be pictures posted. And also, if you do give this a thumbs up, it lets me know that you want to see more looks like this. Um, yeah, it's very easy, very simple, and anyone can recreate it. See you soon.